The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation has appealed to members of the public to furnish it with vital information that would lead to the arrest of six Nigerians indicted for alleged involvement in over $6 million internet fraud. The FBI on Saturday, via its official handle, tweeted the photos of the suspects. It urged persons with important details on the suspects to submit it to their website, adding that they are not required to disclose their names or any personal information. The FBI declared Richard Uzo, Michael Olorun Yomi, Alex Ogunshakin, Felix Opo, Abiola Kayode, and Namdi Benson wanted over the alleged criminal engagements, which left many unsuspecting Americans defrauded. The individuals designated targeted U.S. businesses and individuals through deceptive global threats known as business email compromise and romance fraud. Joining us now is Wale Owoye, CEO of View. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Uh, tell us uh, why you think we're having this huge number of victims in a supposed civilized climb that is high tech, uh, they're supposed to be internet savvy and all of that. How is it possible that this number is coming from the U.S.? All right. Um... You know, literacy and digital literacy, literacy as we used to define it, was maybe numerical and language literacy, but there's also the digital literacy part of things, right? So simple things on the website, when the website has something as simple as HTTPS, which is secure HTTP as against the regular HTTP, a lot of people do not understand that. So they fall victims to... Phony sites, phishing sites, spamming, etc. So, they, they, I mean, so in the U.S. As, and in other climes, there is a lot of awareness and education that is meant to be done. I, I, I visited a few times myself, and uh, it, it's not what we see on Hollywood. Uh, sometimes a lot of them are far backward than we are, and I think people around the world cash in on ignorance. Like they say, ignorance is bliss, but knowledge is power. So if you do not arm yourself with knowledge, you're going to fall victim someday. So um, numeral literacy, language literacy does not necessarily equate to digital literacy. Simple safety tips and tricks you have to do on online uh, are not usually being added to worldwide. What, what would you recommend, uh, as an industry player, what would you recommend to stem the tide? Because uh, your business may suffer uh, image problem internationally if these things continue. I mean, figuratively, you know, when I say your business. Yes. I mean, um, thank you for that. Uh, as an industry player, the, the critical thing for us to do is that, first and foremost, you, you have to protect yourself. And, and it goes... And that, that, that security investment pays for itself in very many forms. Apart from keeping your systems running, you, do, you run huge reputational risks when your systems are breached, emails are stolen, etc. So um, it's incumbent on you to know that um, you would be attacked and you have to protect yourself. But in addition to that, you want to also strengthen the community where you operate. So there are certain people that go out there making um, new stations, for instance, NGOs, bodies that make regulations, promote awareness on how to prevent electronic crimes, how to um, solve properly, you know, and um, et cetera. So, for instance, we have Nita in Nigeria, right, that does, that does a lot of that around data protection, data regulations. So it's two things. I mean, first of all, protect yourself, like we would say, and also help others to stay protected. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Warrior, for your insight on the matter. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.